Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this dress here, which I made for my daughter. Now we'll start off, I'll start off by saying that this is an intermediate pattern. Uh, beginners though, feel free to try. I always say I like to hope that I teach well enough that even a beginner can do it. Now it does have some post stitches, front post stitches. It has a reverse single crochet around the top lots of shells here's the stitch here if you can see it and then the nice white edge shell at the bottom it's actually quite pretty my daughter is wearing a slip underneath it which you can find those on amazon for children um, that's where i purchased mine and now uh, i'll give you a measurement now this is made to fit a size six in u.s terms six six x that's what size my daughter wears so but i'll give you the measurement of of uh, let's see from the neck down to the bottom of the skirt counting the shells is about 20 inches okay skirt 16 and yoke would be four and then the yoke with the sleeves would be six so um, on average that's about the the sizing the, that it is now you can make this to fit a size four five by following the exact same pattern except use one hook size smaller now I don't have any other sizes available that's it I don't have any smaller and I don't have any bigger no adults that's the only two sizes four five and then uh, size 6, 6x in US terms. But I did give you the measurements there. So what do you say? You want to go ahead and get started on it? I think it turned out super cool. I'll tell you what. Evelyn kind of had a fit at first that it wasn't pink. But now that it's finished, I'm glad she likes it. <laughs> Let me move it out of the way. Okay. For this project. Okay. For this project, I use a Lion Brand Pima Cotton. I did buy this online at Joann's. It is a 100% Pima Cotton medium weight number four. Now you don't have to use this yarn. This is a nice, very soft cotton yarn, but any medium weight number four will work. Now there are 186 yards per ball and I went through almost three. So I'm gonna say, you know, 550 yards, something like that of a four weight. Uh, or, you know around that is what it's going to take of your main color now the color I have here is called dragonfly and then I also used for the trim the color vintage um, probably about 50 60 yards of that and now if you want to make it for a size 6, 6X, which is what I did in my video, you're going to want to use a size J, which is a 6 millimeter crochet hook. If you want to make it for a size 4 slash 5, U.S. terms, you want to use an I, which is a 5.5 millimeter. You follow the pattern the same, just knock the hook size down, and that should be fine. Remember, no other size is available. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, so we're going to start off with a chain of 64 and we will be slip stitching into the first stitch to form one large ring. So regardless of what size uh, you're doing, it's still a chain of 64. So once you get your chain of 64 made, we're going to follow it down all the way down without twisting your chain. And we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch to form a ring. Just like that. All right. Now we are going to chain one. We're going to go back right there where we slip stitched and we're going to do a single crochet. And now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch of the chain.
it's like this so round one is just one single crochet in every stitch all the way around your whole ring until we make it back to our starting point all right i have made it back around to the end of round one and we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first single crochet which is right here we don't go into that chain one the chain one doesn't count as anything we're going to go into that first single crochet and we're going to slip stitch and you should have a total of 64 stitches okay now round two we are going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. We're gonna work a point. Our yoke is going to be a four point yoke. So our first point is gonna go right here into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work two double crochets into that same stitch. So there's one and there's two. Now we're gonna chain two and we're going to go right back into the same stitch again and work two more double crochets. So that is one point of our four point yoke. That's how the points are made. Now I'm going to work one double crochet into the next 15 stitches. Now sometimes this very first stitch gets hidden. Make sure you pull these over and get it otherwise your count will be wrong. So one double into the next 15 stitches. So not counting these stitches that we just did. Okay, the points do not count. So starting with this first stitch, it would be number one. We want to do 15 in a row. Here's two, three, here's four, five so I have my 15 double crochets in a row so now I'm gonna work another point into the next stitch so I'm gonna go into the next stitch and I'm gonna work two double crochets so there's one and there is two and I'll work a chain of two and I'll work two more doubles into that same stitch Just like that now again I'm going to repeat I'm going to work one double crochet into the next 15 stitches starting with this very first one here so there's one two three four, five. All right, I got my 15 stitches again in a row. Now I'm gonna make another point in my next stitch. So I will put two double crochets chain of two and two more doubles into the same stitch like that again we're going to repeat it we're going to put one double crochet into the next 15 stitches one two, three, four. All right, I just finished my 15th stitch and I'm going to do my last point, so my fourth one. So in the next stitch, I'm going to work two doubles. Chain of two and two more doubles all into that same stitch now we're going to finish this round by putting one double crochet 
in the remaining 15 stitches is what you should have left. So one double in each of the remaining stitches and you should have 15 left. All right, I've come to the end and I wanna go ahead and end my round by slip stitching into my first double crochet of my first point there, just like that. And now you should have a total of 76 stitches. And as you can see, it's a little, it's square. It's gonna be square. You might have to pull it out a bit, but it'll, it's gonna be square. Okay, so why don't we slip stitch two times to the beginning of this, we'll start round two, two times to the beginning of our first chain two. So there's one and there's two. So now we're in the middle of that point, that chain two space, we're gonna make another point. So we're gonna chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And in this chain two space, we will work two double crochets. So there's one and there's two. And then we're gonna work a chain of two and two more double crochets. Just like that. Now we're going to work some back post double crochet or some front post double crochets. So we're going to start off by putting a front post double crochet into this first stitch. So we're going to yarn over, go around the post of the stitch, and work a front post double crochet like that. Now the next stitch we're just going to work a regular double crochet. So we're just going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Next stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet. And, and then we will work a regular double crochet into the top of the next. And this is what we'll re we will repeat until we get to our next chain two space or the next point. Front post double crochet into the next stitch. and a regular double crochet into the top of the next. Front post double, and regular double. Front post, and regular double. All the way until we make it to our next chain two space. All right, I've come to my next chain two space and the stitch before the chain two space should have been a front post double crochet. Now we're gonna work into the chain two space and we're gonna work what we always do, two double crochets. This will always be what we work into points. Chain two and two more double crochets. Like that. So we want all four sides to match. So since we ended in a front post double crochet here, we have to start with one right here. So we'll always end with a front post double crochet before our point, and we'll always start with one on the other side. So go ahead and start with a front post double crochet and a regular double crochet into the top of the next front post double crochet and a regular double crochet front post and a regular and we're going to repeat this pattern again until we get to our next chain two space all right made it to my next chain two space my last stitch was a front post double crochet so I'm going to go into the chain two space or the point and work my two doubles. Chain two and two more doubles. Just like that. Now I'm going to repeat what we've been doing all the way around until I make it back to my starting point. So remember, we're going to start off with the front post double and then we do a regular double. Front post double, regular double, all the way until we get to our next chain two space. 
and then we work our point which is two doubles chain two two doubles and then we start off again with the front post double regular double front post double regular double and we're going to do this until we get back to our starting point all right i am coming to the end of round three my last stitch was the front post double crochet in with the slip stitch into your first double crochet there now what we're going to do is we're gonna, for round four we're going to repeat what we did on round three so we will slip stitch two times to our first chain two space so there's one and two and we will chain one and we'll go ahead and go into that space and work our point so two doubles chain two and two more doubles and again we're going to start off with a front post double crochet and a regular double crochet into the next stitch and front post double into the next and as you can see it is a front post double from the previous row so our post stitches will stay lined up regular double crochet into the next front post double into the next so all we're doing for round four is repeating exactly what we just did for round three we're going to do the front post double crochet regular double crochet repeat until we get to our points of our yoke here and then that's where we'll put our two doubles chain two two doubles and then we're just going to continue around doing the same thing we did on round three so i'm going to work this round four repeat what we just did on round three until i get back all the way back around to my starting point okay i'm coming to the round four 108 stitches now i'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet now we're going to start round five round five will be the armhole row so we're going to do our uh slip stitch two times to our first chain two space like that and we're all right so i want to chain one and working in this chain two space we're going to make the armholes now i want to work just two regular double crochets into it i don't want to work a complete point just two regular double crochets just like that now my work is facing me like this i need to fold it in half this way like that okay so it's folded like that I'm gonna work a chain of five one two three four five and in this chain two space right here I'll show you one more time we were like this I chained five I'm gonna take my work and fold it this way I'm going to be working in this space right here so I want to go ahead and jump over to it and work two double crochets into that chain two space so there's one and there's two just like that and now I'm going to do my front post double crochet back post or front post double crochet regular double crochet so I'm going to start off with a right with a front post double crochet and then I'll do a regular double crochet and then a front post double crochet and a regular double crochet and I want to repeat this until I get to my next chain two space regular double crochet front post double crochet regular double and front post double and if you look you can see we've made one armhole now i'm going to keep continue working this until i get to my next chain two space all right i've made it over here to my next chain two space my last stitch was a front post double so i'm just going to go ahead and put two regular double crochets in here 
and then I'm going to chain five and you see how it's folded up still I'm just gonna turn my work a little bit to where this is fate this chain two is facing me and I'm going to work two double crochets into this chain two space like that and that is our second armhole and now I'm going to continue around doing the same thing I'm going to start off with a front post double crochet and a regular double crochet front post double crochet and a regular double crochet all the way until I get back to my starting point All right, so I've made it to the end here. Coming to the end of round five. I just ended in a front post double crochet. And I have the two stitches here that I started with. So I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. Should have a total now of 62 stitches. Now that is just counting these stitches across the front here and these stitches across the back. We do not count any of the sleeve stitches. So 62 stitches and then two chain five spaces is what you'll have. Now we're gonna start round six. We are going to chain one, go back into that same spot and work a double crochet. And then we're gonna work a front post double crochet around the next stitch. And now we're at our five chain spaces of the sleeve. We want to work one double crochet in each of those chain spaces. So you go into the chain space and double crochet. And you should have five because we did five chains. So there's one, two, three, four and five now we want to put a front post double crochet into the next stitch like that and then a regular double crochet into the top of the next front post double around the next remember we're just keeping the post lined up and a regular double front post double and regular double so we're just going to continue doing this this is round six that we're on until we get to our next chain five space which we will do the same Poster lined up. All right, again, I've made it to my next chain two space. My last stitch was a front post double crochet. Now I want to put one double crochet in each of these chain five spaces here. So there's five. Now we're gonna start off by working a front post double crochet into the next stitch. And a regular double crochet into the next. And then a front post double. And a regular double. And we're just gonna continue this front post double, regular double crochet, repeat until we get to the end. Just keeping our post stitches lined up. All 
All right, I have made it to the end of row six. My last stitch was a front post double crochet. Go ahead and end by substitching into that first double crochet. And now you will have a total of 72 stitches at the end of round six. So what she looks like. All right, now we're gonna start the skirt. So, we are going to round seven, chain one. We're gonna go right back into the same spot that I just slip stitched into, and I'm going to work a shell. A shell is five double crochets in the same spot. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm gonna chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to skip one stitch and I'm going to single crochet into the next. So skip and then single. And then I'm going to chain three. I'm going to skip one stitch and shell into the next. So skip that one and in the next one we put our five double crochets. down so that will be what we're going to repeat all the way around so again we're, we're going to chain three one two three we will skip one stitch and single into the next and then we will chain three and we're going to skip one stitch and shell into the next so five doubles again. And then we're gonna do it again. We're gonna chain three, skip one stitch, single into the next. Chain three, skip one stitch, and shell into the next. So this is what I'm gonna repeat for round seven. Chain three, skip one, single into the next, chain three, skip one, and shell into the next. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, I've come to the end of round seven. Now you should have 18 shells and this is how we will end it. I just did a single crochet. I did a shell, a chain three, a single crochet. I have one stitch left to skip, so make sure you chain three after that one. After that last single crochet, skip this last stitch and end by slip stitching into your first stitch, first double crochet of your first shell. Now in round seven, like I said, 18 shells. Let's move on to round eight. So round eight and nine, are going to be the repeat rounds for just a little bit little bit so round eight we are going to slip stitch two times to the middle of our first shell so there's one and there's two we're going to chain one and we're going to shell right back into that stitch so five double crochets there's one There's five. Now what we're gonna do is these chain two, these two chain two, uh, three spaces. We're going to go in directly through the first one and single crochet like that. Then we're gonna chain three and we're gonna go directly into the next one just like this 
and single crochet like that and then we're going to find the middle of our next shell so if you skip two stitches skip skip the next one will be the middle and we're going to shell into that just like that and now we're going to repeat that so right here you got your two chain three spaces we're going to go right into the first one right after this shell we don't do any chains after this go right through it and single crochet now we do a chain of three and go into the next chain three space right through it and single crochet like that and then we find the middle stitch of our next shell so if you count over skip two the third one will be the middle and do a shell and that's the repeat now for round eight again we will single crochet into our next chain three space chain three single crochet into our next ch chain three space and shell into the middle of our next shell so i'm going to repeat this pattern that we're doing right now all the way around until i get back to my starting point all right i'm coming to the end of round eight i did my last single crochet here in this chain three space and now i'm going to end i'm not going to chain after it by slip stitching into my first double crochet of my first shell and you'll have 18 shells still you always have 18 shells just like that and now we'll start round nine now round nine is very very similar to round seven what we're going to do though is we are going to slip stitch two times to the middle of our first shell chain one and go ahead and shell right back into that same spot so there's one two three four and there's five now what we're going to do is we are going to work a chain of three. One, two, three. We're going to single crochet into this chain three space right here. And then we're going to chain three. And now we are going to shell in the middle of this shell right here. like that so that's kind of what it starts to look like let's go ahead and repeat that again so we chain three one two three we're going to single crochet into this chain three space right here and then we're going to chain three again and then we will shell into the middle of the next shell Like that again chain three single crochet into this chain three space chain three and shell into the middle of the next shell so that's a repeat now for round nine Chain three, Sh single crochet into middle of the chain space, chain three, 
and shell into the middle of the next shell. Like that. We're going to keep repeating that all the way around. All right, I've come to the end of round nine and I did a single crochet there into that chain space. I chained three. I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet of my first shell. 18 shell stills at the end of round nine. So we're going to repeat round eight and nine until we get a total of 12 rounds. So it'll be actually be six rounds of shells. So I'm on round nine. I'm getting ready to start round 10, which would be a repeat of round eight. So round 10 would be you slip stitch two times to the middle of your first shell, chain one, go right back into it and shell. So five doubles. Like that and now we're going to be working in these chain spaces so we're going to go directly into the first chain space single crochet chain three and in the next chain three space single crochet and in the next shell we work the middle of it we work a shell so for round 10 we're repeating what we did on round eight now we want to repeat rounds eight and nine for a total of 12 round. And that is 12 complete. I mean, that's starting from row one up here. So all the way down to 12. So you, like I said, you'll actually have six rows of shells. And then I will meet back up with you at the end of round 12. Okay, I have made it to the end of round 12. Now remember that is starting from round 1 all the way down is round 12. So you'll have six, one, two, three, four, five, six set of shells. They actually look like kind of like circles, don't they? Well, anyways, now we're still doing the same thing except for we're just going to increase the shell size. So for rounds 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, we're going to do them. Uh, we're going to increase the shell size. So the only difference is it's the same pattern, but instead of doing five uh, double crochets for our shell, we're now going to do seven. So we're going to slip stitch two times, just like normal. We're on round 13 now chain one now normally we would do five double crochets here this is the only difference between between um, these rows and the previous rows we're going to do seven double crochets now instead of five this will make the dress flare out a little bit more three four five six and then seven and the rest of the pattern is is the same as it was before so i'm going to chain three single crochet into this chain three space chain three and in the middle of this shell i'm going to do a shell of seven double crochets now So that's the only difference. Do that. So it's going to make it um, uh, flare out a little bit more. So we're on round 13 right now. Or, yeah, round 13. The, we're still repeating rows eight and nine, but, but instead of doing five double crochets for our shells, we're now doing seven. Now, when you start the round of seven double 
you have seven shell double crochet you will have to do one more slip stitch so instead of two it's going to be three to get you to the center that's the only difference just like that and that'll bring you to the center of the seven shells everything else this is, is the same so 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 are all going to be done with seven double crochets as our shells everything else is the same except for we increased we went from five to seven so go ahead and keep doing the pattern the same making your shell seven instead of five until you reach finish out round 18. All right once you get your 18 rows done now that's 18 remember starting from row one all the way down so you should have a total of 12 rows of shells now now we're going to increase again we're doing the same thing except for we're making our shells nine double crochets as opposed to seven so we had six rows of shells that were five double crochets six rows of shells that were seven double crochets I'm trying to find my in here and now we're going to do six rows of shells that are nine double crochets so it's getting wider at the bottom so <clears throat> i already did one so what you would do now we're doing everything the same that we did before but now we're going to be slip stitching four times one two three four as opposed to three which we did when we had seven shells remember i already did one row of nine so this is nine shells here and then it's just the same thing chain one and you work nine double crochets it's nine double crochets they're not nine shells i'm sorry nine doubles and everything else is the same all the chain spaces are the same everything is the same except for the amount of shells have grown to nine as opposed to seven which we did before My hook's the same size, I just lost my other one. So, <laughs> there we go. So, we just continue along. Now, doing the same thing as we did. Nine shells now, instead of seven. We're gonna do it for six more rounds. So, rounds 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 are all going to be nine shells or nine double crochets in each cell so that's what we're going to do now and then after that we'll do an edging so how does that sound so we did remember we did six rows of shells that had five double crochets six rows of shells that had seven double crochets and now we're going to do six more rows of shells that have nine double crochets as the shell everything else all the chain spaces in between are all the same we do not change them at all so i'm going to get going i'm going to finish out my six rows of nine six rows made with the nine double crochets for the shell and then i'll meet back up with you all right i have made it finished round 24 of the dress and that is starting from round one all the way down it would be round 24 or you'll have 18 rows of shells however you want to count it okay round 25 you guys ready for this i'm gonna put an edge on it <clears throat> but first i gotta the edging is gonna consist of two rows Okay, just a second. I came undone here. Okay, so I ended my round 24 here by slip stitching into my shell, just like normal. Okay, so I want to start by getting into the middle of that shell. So I'm going to slip stitch four times. One, two, three and four so now i'm in the middle of that shell what i'm going to do is chain one 
I want to go back into that shell and put a single crochet. Done. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to come right here into this next chain space and I'm going to put a V stitch. So I'm going to double crochet. chain one go back in it again and double crochet so that is going to be my v stitch double crochet chain one double crochet now i'm going to chain three again one two three and i'm going to find the center of this shell and single crochet there we go and that's what I'm going to repeat all the way around now for round 25. Again, I will chain three. One, two, three. Right here in this chain space, I'm going to do a V stitch. So I'm going to go right through this chain space and I'm going to work a double crochet, chain one, and then another double crochet. There's my V stitch. Now I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to find the center of this shell, which is actually the fifth stitch, and single crochet, just like that. And this is what I'm going to do all the way around. Again, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. V stitch right here into this chain three space. Double crochet, chain one double crochet is our V stitch. I'm going to chain three and single crochet into the middle of our next shell. Just like that. So that's the pattern I'm going to repeat now for round 25. It's just kind of just uh, leveling the playing field at the bottom and then I'll do one final uh, edging stitch in white. So I'm going to continue around, repeating this pattern, chain three, right here in this chain space, I'm going to do a V stitch, so double, chain one, double, chain three, and single into the middle of this shell. like that. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point. All right, I'm coming to the end of round 25. Did my V stitch there. Chained three. Now I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first single crochet that I made. And then I'm going to clip my yarn. Tie this off. Clip it. And you'll have 18 V stitches and 18 single crochets at the end of that round. Okay, one more round on the skirt here. Okay, I'm going to bring in some white. Actually, it's not really white. It's off white, I guess. But all right. So you want to start. You can start anywhere. Uh, some just kind of where you left off. Let me find out where I left off. Somewhere near that section. Let me get it set up here to where you can see what I'm doing better. Now this is going to be the final round. Round 26. So I just stopped here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start right back there where I just ended. I'm going to pull my yarn through. And I'm going to chain one. Now that chain one is going to count as a slip stitch. Now I'm going to be working my shells in the V stitches this time. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm not going to chain. Go into here and I'm going to start double crocheting. Now 
you want to do a total of 13 double crochets. Big old shell, isn't it? That's the monster shell. Just like that. Now I'm going to go to my next single crochet right here on top of this shell. I'm going to slip stitch right into it. Just like that. Here we go. That's it. That's what we're going to do all the way around. You ready? We're going to jump to the next V stitch and we're going to do our super duper extra large shell of 13 double crochets into the v-stitch slide them over if you need to Now we're going to jump over here to that next single crochet and a slip stitch into it. So that's it. That's what we're going to do. It's probably going to become kind of roughly. Well, that's okay. So I'm going to keep working this pattern all the way around. Just 13 double crochets into each one of these V stitches. And then you just slip stitch into the single crochet of the next shell until you get back to your starting point. All right. Come to the end of round uh 26 and i just in my last shell and i'm going to end by slip stitching into that chain one or just in that same space as that single crochet there would be fine just slip stitch into that tie that off 18 shells on that round and that will complete the skirt of the dress now hey we're almost finished almost finished now, I'm going to go around the neckline um, a little bit and clean it up, and then we can call it a day. So, I'm going to start in the back here. I'm just saying the back is where I just, let's see, I don't know. I guess it's kind of the side. You just start, whatever side you want to start on. Doesn't matter. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my main color, which is my bluish green color here, and I'm going to start, and you can start anywhere you want, but all I'm going to do is put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around like this, uh, up around the sleeve, all the way around like this, up around the sleeve, back, back around, up the sleeve, and then back where you started. Just one in every stitch. So just go ahead and start off in any stitch that you choose. Chain one and a single crochet back into that same stitch. We have the right, make sure you have the right side of your work facing you. See how my posts are facing me. That way the stitches are on the right side. And now I'm gonna work around putting one single crochet in every stitch. Try to hide that tail as I go underneath my stitches. Now I'm going to show you what you do when you get up here to where points are. You don't really do anything different. There's no extra stitches. You just continue going around. shouldn't be any break see here's where the point started 
there's no difference here. You just continue putting one single crochet in every stitch because we started out with that row of single crochet. So I'm going to work my way around the whole collar and up around the top of the sleeves until I make it back to my starting point. One single in every stitch. And clean up that edge nice. All right, I've made it back to my starting point and I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first single crochet. You should have 64 stitches because that's what our starting, that's what we started with. So go ahead and tie that off and I'm gonna go around with a row white. So go ahead and clip that off. Okay, so I'm gonna take my other color, color B. I'm gonna start um, somewhere around the same spot. I'm gonna be working a reverse single crochet now. Um, otherwise known, some people call it a crab stitch. I always call it just a reverse single. It's not hard to do once you get to going on it. All it is is a single crochet, but we're going to be working it in the opposite direction as we just worked this single crochet. So, just start somewhere around here where you ended off in any stitch. So I'm going to go into this stitch, chain one. Now I'm going to go back into the same stitch and start out with a single crochet regular single crochet. Now remember we're going to be work, working the reverse single in the opposite direction so we're going to be working in this way. So what I'm going to do is go into the next stitch, it's not hard, and just single crochet. Just like that. It's real easy once you get the hang of it. Go into the next stitch. It seems a little awkward at first but really it's not. And single crochet. Next stitch, go into it single crochet. See that? Next stitch, go into it, and a single crochet. And as you can see what it's doing, it's just kind of making like a little loop, loop around, kind of added detail. Now if you're not comfortable doing the reverse single crochet, you can just do another round of single crochet in your uh, color B or another one in the color A if you prefer just regular, if you have trouble doing the reverse. But it just, once you get the hang of it, it's real easy. Just go right in and single crochet. We're just working from the opposite direction, but it's just a simple single crochet. So I am going to do this reverse single all the way around until I get back to my starting point. So it looking all twisted up like that, that's normal. That's how it's supposed to look. It's just the way it looks. So I'm gonna continue that until I get back here again. All right, once you make it back around, you wanna go ahead and slip stitch into this first single crochet that we made. And you should have 64 stitches. If you don't, it's okay. Somewhere close to that is fine. I don't think anybody's gonna come up and count. If they do, that would be weird so it is a little difficult to get in that first single crochet to slip stitch <laughs> i got it i got it that's it guys now what we need to do is hide any remaining tails that we have now remember if you could not get that reverse single crochet down doing regular single crochet would be fine so i'm going to take a moment i'm not going to do anything on the sleeves you can go single crochet around them if you want in the white whatever you or whatever color you want i'm going to leave them be so i'm finished other than hiding some tails so i'll be right back all right i am finished with the dress so what do you guys think i think it turned out cute yes, i guess the question is will my daughter like it I sure hope so, or I'll never hear the end of it. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I hope, I hope, I hope you were able to follow along okay. Now, if you make this or anything else from any of my tutorials, I would love, love, love to see a picture of it. You follow me on Instagram and show, tag me there. You can follow me on Facebook, show me there. Um, I'll put links to all that stuff below in the description box. I always like to see the creations people make from my patterns. And I'm also going to put a playlist of all my tutorials over there on the right hand side 
hundreds of them hundreds of them if you haven't seen them um check them out don't forget to hit that like subscribe thanks everybody have a good day